Welcome back to our series on advanced mates. Today we'll be covering how to use the profile center, symmetric, path mate, and linear coupler mates. All the mates we'll talk about here are meant to model complex relationships that otherwise would mean combining multiple mates, or simply not possible at all. So understanding these mates and how to apply them will unlock new capabilities for the evaluation of your designs. The profile center mate is used to make two dissimilar faces of insided regular polygons share the same center. By default, the two faces also become coincident, but I can add offset if I want. I can also lock rotation just like a concentric mate. The faces must have an unbroken outer edge except for chamfers or fillets. Internal cuts are no problem either. But if you want to use the profile center mate on an irregular polygon, create a regular polygon sketch to encompass the face and make the sketch instead. Profile center mates are invaluable for end caps or base plates at the assembly level. A symmetry mate is used to force two similar entities to be symmetric about a plane or face. It's important to note that the symmetry mate only forces the selected entities to be symmetrical and not the entire component. Like this component. I can make these main faces symmetric, but the components will remain upside down to one another without more mates. Symmetric mates are especially useful when you need to maintain symmetric motion, like say, on a hydraulic car lift. A path mate makes sure that a point on your assembly can only be moved along one specific path. The path constraint option allows you to choose between freely dragging the component along the path, specifying a distance along the path, or specifying a percentage along the path. You can also define the yaw, pitch, and roll for the mated component. The path mate is perfect for ensuring range of motion for assemblies like this robot. The linear coupler mate is used to create proportional linear motion between components, like this drawer slide. In this case, let's set the innermost rail to move 2 inches for every 1 inch that the middle slide moves. The other selection boxes we are not using are for setting your component motion relative to another entity. By default, the motion is relative to the origin though, so that's fine for this example. Pay attention to the selection and ratio boxes. They're color coordinated to help you understand which component has which rate of motion. So the profile center and symmetric mate add design intent to your assembly that otherwise might not have been possible, while the path and linear coupler mates unlock your ability to validate extension length or range of motion even with those complex relationships. Join me next episode for an explanation of the last four advanced mates. That'll be the cam, slot, hinge, and universal mates. See you then.